Nice to meet you. <laughs> High five. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, I'm Saul. I'm a professional chef, and this is my $135 nachos ingredients. Hi, I'm Lorenzo, and I'm a home cook, and these are my $13 nacho ingredients. Let's do this. Here we go again. I guess we're making chicken nachos. <laughs> Something smells funny. Hello, fishy. The nachos that I was planning to make today, they were gonna be very special. A red snapper aguachile nachos with salsa matcha and fresh mango. I had a whole fresh red snapper that I was going to cure and serve on an agua chile sauce made from English cucumbers, lime, and serrano peppers. I was gonna make a salsa matcha from scratch using three types of dried chilies. This is gonna be spicy, I like spicy. I don't even know what half of these are though. Plus a whole bunch of fancy toppings. Pickled red onions, avocado sauce, chipotle aioli, and fresh mango. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. All served on a bed of homemade tortilla chips. That's masa. I know exactly what that's for. I'm making my own. Oh, fudge. It was going to be amazing. With Lorenzo recipe, I have ingredients that you find on your pantry or your local store. But we're gonna make this amazing. Watch me. If I had to guess, all this will cost $12.75, but due to the inflation now, it's probably $18.75. $13, yay! Yeah. <laughs> 195 bucks. Oh, okay. A little bit more reasonable. This is Chef Saul's ingredients book. This is just ingredients. I don't even know what half of this stuff is. I am making homemade tortillas. I don't feel well. <laughs> Lorenzo, when making these tortilla chips, this is like the base, so you have to make sure the nice, golden, crispy chips. Don't mess it up. <laughs> is Rose available today? Yes! Rose! Always happy to get your call, Lorenzo. I'm supposed to make nachos. Well, why don't we start with the tortillas? Because that's Please. the base yes. of your nachos. You probably have some masa harina there, which is a, a yes. corn flour. I would start with about two cups, a little bit of salt, and add about one cup of warm water. And then you're going to basically keep mixing until you have a dough that's pliable, but not sticky. Um, wow. I think I did it, you guys. So once you've made your dough, you're gonna take golf ball size, you know, chunks, I guess. So Lorenzo, when you're about to press the tortillas, make sure you use a, a Ziploc bag, cut it in half, one in each side so to prevent the tortilla from sticking to your tortilla press. And then just press gently until it's completely even and you're gonna have a tortilla. It's as simple as that. Wow, so cool, so cool. Okay, so when I have the tortillas, how do I make the chips? You're going to take your tortillas whole and you're gonna cook them for a little bit on each side on a very hot griddle. Then you're gonna take them out, you're gonna cool them down completely, stack them up, take a knife and just make a straight slice and put them in about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Boink, boink, <laughs> no excuse the sound. Fry them till they're golden brown. I'm pulling the trigger. Ooh. Take them out, drain them, and sprinkle with salt. Good to go. And there you have it. Fresh, homemade tortilla chips. Thank you, Rose. So Lorenzo sent me a typical uh, ingredient for nachos. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make upside down nachos. So I'm gonna be using corn tortilla chips for my nachos, but I'm gonna make an extra type of chip. Cheese chip for my nachos. So Lorenzo sent me this cheese mix. It's a blend of a lot of cheese. Apparently it's Mexican blend. I don't see any Mexican cheese in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put enough of the uh, cheese in here. So let me choose nice and even. I'm gonna bake this at 375 for maybe eight to 12 minutes. Oh la la. I just made cheese cookies. 
I'm just gonna put it to a side, let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes, so they get a little bit cold and get crispier. Let's get a snapping. <laughs> no, no. I am going to fillet you, fish. I have filleted a fish. I don't know the last time I've done it. So when you fill in the fish, you cut along the side from the spine and kind of just push the knife and then, then you have a fillet. I am going to take the skin off of these fillets. When you do that, kind of pull the tail and the skin and then push the knife, something like this, like a ninja. So next up, I'm just gonna chop it up and cure it with lime juice and some kosher salt. We are gonna let the lime juice and the salt do its thing. It's gonna cure the fish. There you go. So Lorenzo sent me this ground chicken. Uh, I guess that's just to put the chicken on top. And beans. When I see these ingredients, I am only think of one thing, frijoles charros. It's the Mexican version of the baked beans. Okay, so we do oil, this lovely <laughs> ground chicken. Remember, make a lot of noise so people don't come into the kitchen and bother you. Now, I'm gonna add some onion. Okay, and then jalapeno. Now, your jalapeno, if you don't want this to be hot, don't put jalapeno. It's a pinto bean time. Dump it in here, some little water to the bottom. Tomatoes. And now we wanna cook this until this is not a liquid. Moving on to the agua chile. The translation in English is water, spicy. Spicy water. Puree cucumber, cilantro, serrano. Ooh, I shouldn't touch it. Yikes. Onion, a lot of lime juice. That's nice. Okay. Wow. It smells really good. It's different. It's very fresh. It's very refreshing. For those who don't know what an agua chile is, Basically, it's the Mexican version of a ceviche. We're not cooking the fish, we're curing the fish with lime and a little bit of salt. I think I'm just gonna let it sit and let it kind of keep cooking in this beautiful mixture now. Yeah. Perfect. This is delicious, I'm not kidding. Every time I cook, I'm impressed. And now we're gonna add the cilantro. It looks like my frijoles charros are done. I'm just gonna let it sit here. By the time plating time arrives, they're gonna be nice and thick. It is salsa time. It is actually salsa matcha time. The way I like to make my, my, my salsa matcha is by using three types of chiles. Ancho for uh, texture, arbol for spiciness, and then guajillo kind of for color. So when you add those three chiles, you can have like a, an even salsa. So basically you need to remove all the stands and the seeds out of these chilies. Make sure you use gloves just in case because sometimes we grab our eye or, or something else. I scratch my nose or rub my eyes. Call 911. I'm going to chop you guys. Here we go. Oil in. And then I add peanuts, garlic, sesame seeds. I like it already. I mean I like everything that just went into this olive oil. There. Next, I am going to add you in. Okay. Talk about immediate fragrance. So I'm just gonna let that go and cool off a bit, a, a few minutes, 10 minutes or so, then we'll move on to the next step. Well, Lorenzo sent me these lovely tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, lime, and cilantro. I guess I'm supposed to make pico de gallo? Not today, not today. Instead, I'm gonna be doing a char, tomato, and jalapeno salsa. Charring helps to bring the flavors out of anything. So char your vegetables, they will taste delicious. Let's start with the onion. I'm gonna do only half onion. Char the crap out of it. Jalapenos. You know what, I don't, I don't eat enough jalapenos. I only eat serranos and spicy stuff. I'm gonna add these tomatoes, I already washed them. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna add in a, a couple more ingredients. Mexican oregano. Apple cider vinegar. I love apple cider vinegar. It's good for you too. And a pinch of salt. Healthy pinch of salt. This is my bad boy. A new outfit. Black chef coat. My brand new tattoo. I don't know if you noticed in the last video. But now I'm a bad boy. Okay, so um, our tomatoes looking okay. Now I'm gonna dice my cilantro. Now let's blend the crap out of them. So I add salt, right? Now I'm gonna add my limes. 
This is what bad boys do. Oh, oh, oh. I can feel it. <laughs> That's hot. Ready? Special trick. That's it. This is how you make a delicious char jalapeno and tomato salsa. Okay, this is, hey, I can handle this. We're making pickled onions. Things like this of Julian red onions. And then you're gonna add a little bit of white vinegar, some lime juice, and salt. Let it sit for five minutes, and then you have delicious pickled onions. And there's my first garnish. Hello, mango tango. I, I love mango, and then I love chives too. Uh, I'm just gonna chop them up because it's gonna be a garnish that goes on the nachos. Bad boy time. Look how nice this looks, huh? Paper thing. So now, we're just gonna cut the edges of the tomato. We don't want the heart you make a sauce with this. Do not throw it away. I'm also gonna use some of these beautiful leaves for garnish for my nachos. And my garnishes are ready. So now I'm gonna make a chipotle aioli. Fancy schmancy. Lorenzo, while making the chipotle aioli, listen very careful. You have mayo and chipotle. Just mix them. What a nice condiment, you know? Ta-da! Okay, so uh, I got this sour cream from Lorenzo's recipe and also got lime, cilantro, and jalapeno. So I'm going to make some cilantro and jalapeno crema. Cilantro, this is like half a bunch. A little bit of water, some jalapeno. It's too mild, this is like pepper. My daughter can eat this. A little bit of lime, a little bit of salt, and sour cream. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Higher, 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 higher. And here's my crema for my upside down nachos. Mm. Nice, mild, spicy, lemony. Can't wait, it's gonna be amazing. I am making some avocado sauce. Ooh, nice and ripe. So when making the avocado sauce, this is my signature sauce. Well, it's not really my signature sauce. It's every Mexican signature sauce. It's very simple, and those are the ingredients for the guacamole, avocado, Oh dear. Serrano, lime, onion, cilantro, a little bit of salt. Wow, what a nice color. That is fantastic. I can just eat that with chips. Basically, it adds creamy, spicy element to, to the nachos. Who doesn't like avocado? Who, you know, it's just avocado and chips. It's great. Avocado sauce. I am ready to put this nacho dish together. And remember, we're making upside down nachos. So, watch me. First of all, we're gonna start with the first layer with this lovely Mexican blend, <laughs> but it's not really Mexican. It's like taco oil. And now we're gonna do another layer of the frijoles charros. Oh my gosh! Lorenzo, you lucky man! Who wants to be in Lorenzo's shoes right now? Everybody, huh? It's like making a cake. Making a nacho cake. Maybe you're gonna need more cheese, I don't know. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna broil it for maybe six to eight minutes until this is nice and caramelized. And don't worry about the bottom. The bottom is gonna melt for sure. I'll be right back. Bad boys. I made it. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm starting with chips as one would. And I am literally gonna spread it as if it's like one layer. Cause don't you hate when you go to a restaurant and then the chips all piled up and there's nothing on the other chip? It drives me crazy. Just put some um, red snapper or chili everywhere without putting too much liquid. Okay, salsa, matcha. And I wanna get all these beautiful chilies on. And then you're gonna do a little bit of pickled onions and then some diced mangoes. That mango is gonna be delicious. I do love chives. And we already have onion there. And then you, I can never have enough beautiful cilantro. Just for show. Chipotle aioli, you wanna you know, pour all over the nachos. Same thing with the avocado aioli. That's basically our sour cream 
in our katsos. I have another layer to do. I'm doing another layer. Can I do another layer? And then you do that again, and again, and again, and again. So I speak this much of nachos. <laughs> and this is my take on Chef Saul's nachos. Chef Saul, I hope you like it. I personally can't wait to see what you did with my ingredients, but I think I did very well. <laughs> oh my gosh, madre de Dios. This is gonna be my Instagram. Follow me. Now, I'm gonna put the chips on top. We're gonna start with my lovely corn chips. These are so good, I don't need to put anything else. Look at this beautiful cheese chips. Now I'm gonna add this. What's better than cheese? More cheese, you got that right. So this for the Keto Guys diet. And there we go. I'm gonna do some of the sauce. And the salsa. Now the salsa, we're gonna put it not on top of the chips because we don't want to make this messy. You want something fresh. Everything is so fried. And now my jalapenos. I got these fancy tones. Cause my fingers are too chubby. And cilantro. And I'm done. <laughs> These are my upside down nachos with uh, frijoles charros. I hope Lorenzo likes this and I can't wait to see what he did with my recipe. Chef Saul in the house, what's up? How are you brother? I'm good, how are you man? Good. Oh wow. Good job. Wow, dude. <laughs> really? This is something that I will, what will serve in Tulum if I ever own a restaurant there. It looks <laughs> delicious. Real? I mean, look at this. It looks super healthy. Thanks, chef. <laughs> I see cheese. <laughs> cheese twills. <clears throat> wow. Well, this is this is what I'm supposed to be eating, and this is what I actually eat. Saul, <laughs> <laughs> let's dig in. Okay. Shall we? Ready? Drum roll. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cha-ching. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven, you guys. Why so, is it so yummy? So I think the main the main thing that I did here is the frijoles charros. So I took the uh, ground chicken, sear it, add the uh, pinto beans, serranos, tomatoes, jalapenos, and I make frijoles charros, like a, a Mexican cowboy beans. I can't even talk, it's so good. Okay. Yes, so, chef! Let, let me fix the problem. Here. <laughs> you have just here. made my day! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> now I want to try this. Yes, please. I'm going to be honest, Lorenzo. It looks amazing. Okay. By the way. Mm. Wow. I'm nervous. Wow. It's F what? delicious. <laughs> it's what? F delicious. Mm. <laughs> Spicy. It's fresh. It has this nutty flavor. It's just, you know what? Maybe I'm going to still wait a little bit for summer. I'm gonna do this for winter and this is gonna be my summer. Thank you, Chef. That was fantastic. I love both of them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you. That's I'm nice. Impressed. You're awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. I'd wanted to just well, keep drinking. Thing.